And so we are live on Magnesi versus Concessi. And um, it's a it's a pretty good good fight so far. I mean, you can definitely tell that the the Italian's been pressing quite a bit in Magnesi, but um, Concessi is 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 definitely definitely starting to press a little bit and and the body work is starting to really take a toll but magnesi just came through with a nice nice left hook that landed flush but the uppercuts and the the accuracy of concessi is definitely the thing that's that's winning the day right now he had a very good round in round two magnesi has been doing a lot of smiling but it, it seems that concessi is um is definitely a little bit more of the accurate more accurate of the two punchers Magnesi missed with a, a shot to the body but I tell you Cassesi is uh that those sh sharp punches very sharp short punches are landing flush when it comes to Magnesi The ref has definitely had his hands full a little bit with this this fight, um, primarily because Magnesi has been pressing the action. Oh, big two piece that came in from Cassesi, and he was able to just throw some serious stuff on him that made the chin buckle a little bit, and and also the knee. He's smiling about it. Magnesi is smiling about it, but he definitely he felt it. And he's going to be feeling it in the morning. Nice uppercut by Cassesi. And then Magnesi actually followed it up with a few uppercuts of his own. If you're just tuning in, we are in round four. About 17 seconds left in round four of Cassesi versus Magnesi. Pretty good action. We were able to, to see a, a, a pretty decent fight that, that just came back from the champion. British champion and now we got Magnesi versus Cassesi so um, pretty decent decent night that we can we can see for both of these fighters I'm gonna try to see if I can get a few images for y'all because sometimes it's just it's just good to just to visually see and I understand the limitations when it comes to YouTube so that's that's a that's a good thing so Is it the right levels? Is it good levels? I don't know what that means. Can you hear the music with me? Mm -hmm. Is it sound too much or? Mm -hmm. It's just low enough. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we're so just letting y'all know. I mean, honestly, we're um, just testing out a whole lot of different stuff. Just trying to get the perfect picture for y'all, and then also the the perfect show that we can give i mean it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff that i've had to learn over these last few days just to make sure that this is as picture perfect as we can get it um but yeah it's it's a it's it's definitely definitely been a learning lesson but it's been fun it's, been, it's definitely been fun to be able to see uh, what all it takes to to put together a, a decent stream just 
with the graphics and everything like that but the biggest thing that you're here for is obviously for Cassessi versus Magnesi you really don't care about all the graphics and anything like that so we'll get right back to the fight we got Cassessi is definitely starting to turn the screws a little bit Magnesi is has been um he he was aggressive earlier but I think the shot selection by Cassessi has kept Magnesi decently at bay and he hasn't been able to get any offense going. Good shots off the break from Cassessi. Magnesi is still trying to press, but definitely not as as aggressive as he was before. really appreciate all the support that you've been given for the channel and like i said we're just we're just really just trying out a few things just trying to get the quality to be as good as possible also to get the show as good as possible H had to get all the audio and everything so but cassessi versus magnesi about 10 seconds left in the fight it's just been a, a tale of cassessi staying on the back foot throwing having nice shot selection and Magnesi trying to find Cassessi throughout the fight and it just really hasn't happened So it's just a little break in the action. They're just taking a, a commercial break. Um, but like I said, Cassessi is definitely, he's, he's starting to just pick his shots really well. Whereas Magnesi is just trying to, he's trying, he's trying to, to corner Cassessi a little bit, but it's just not happening. It's really not happening today. It just seems that it's just a, a nice, performance of boxing from Cassessi. Nice stick and move by Cassessi. I, I'm not I'm not too sure obviously how how it's being judged but if you want to see someone pressing the action or being decently aggressive that would be Magnesi but if you want to see good shot selection picture perfect um, uh, and, and just cleaner shots I think it's it's definitely coming from Cassessi's camp And now it seems that Magnesi has gotten a breath of fresh air and definitely a second win. And he is going to work on, on Cassessi, trying to push him against the ropes and trying to get a round or two. I don't think that he's gotten, in my personal opinion, I don't think he, he got a round since possibly the first round. I could be wrong, but it, the way that it looks, oh, big, crazy shot, straight right that came from Cassessi. This boxing off the back foot is just really good work from him. And I understand that Magnesi is the one that's that's moving forward, but he's not really connecting too much when he gets there. So that's something to keep in mind. I don't know how the, the judges are going to score it, but from what I can tell, it seems that it's a lot of Cassesi 
being more picture perfect. But that was really good for McNessie. He was able to catch Cassessi while he was transitioning and moving. Good right hook that came from McNessie. I tell you, the referee has had a lot to do in this fight. And if you're tuning in, this is the Sam Parker versus Joe Joyce undercard. And I think the next fight that we got is actually the main event. Um, so a lot of the fights came in early. But in attendance, we do have Tyson Fury and also Tyson Fury's father is at ringside sitting with Frank Warren. So this is going to be pretty good. I know that, that Tyson Fury has been doing a lot of work with Sam Parker. And obviously this fight, if it goes the way that people, you know, decently wanted to go, no matter who wins, that could set up a decent fight with the loser of Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua or Anthony Joshua, the loser of Anthony Joshua and a potential fight with Deontay Wilder. So, it, you know, it, it it's all up in the air. The heavyweight division is on fire right now we got some crazy fighters in the heavyweight division and i'm just i'm just giving you that i mean just think about it jared anderson you know uh joe joyce daniel dubois uh, and um usik tyson fury you know the list goes and Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua we already we already mentioned i mean we got some serious heavyweights and we also have some cruiserweights, light heavyweights. I mean, the, the higher weight classes are starting to get a lot deeper than what we've seen in past years. Really excited about that. And so now we're going into the round seven. Just started round seven. And Magnesi is going to town on the rib cage of Cassessi. It seems that now the, the work rate of Magnesi pushing forward is starting to take a toll on Cassessi, but Cassessi starts to let loose heavily a three punch combination that caught Magnesi dead in the neck. Oh my gosh. Good shots coming from Cassessi. But Magnesi just keeps on throwing stuff in the body. A lot of body work coming in and a oh whoa big action they are trading and they are in the phone booth right now it is two minutes and 10 seconds and now both of them are trading and Cassessi is starting to push on the front foot McNessie is getting pushed back that was really good action coming in right at the two minute mark of round seven if you're just tuning in it is Sam Parker versus Joe Joyce undercard and it's Cassessi versus McNessie Big left hook coming in from McNessie that landed flush, almost took the head off of Cassessi, and Cassessi's mouth went wide open. And I think that he was in deep trouble, and I think he is in deep trouble. McNessie is starting to throw some stuff on the ropes. Cassessi, I do not think that he's all the way there just yet. I think he needs to try to back up and get out of the way, but he is trying to smother the punches. Of McNessie. McNessie threw a insane left hook. Oh my gosh. If you are a McNessie fan, the Italian is starting to come on strong in the middle rounds. I think that that is two rounds back to back for McNessie, and he is starting the work rate is starting to get a little too much for Cassessi. And just just to make sure that um, I'm tracking um, how it just anyone that's in the in the chat, 
how is the levels on the microphone how are the levels when it comes to um to also the music like is everything clicking pretty good can y'all all hear everything if you if the music sounds good and also the levels of the microphone sounds good if you can just say that in the chat that would be very helpful Because, I mean, we're just trying to make it as good as possible for you, the fans, so and, and also the supporters of the channel. So if the microphone sounds good and also the, the music in the background sounds good, awesome. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Is the music too overpowering or is it or is it sound decent? And we just had uh, just a break in the action. Um, that was the the end of the round came in. Uh, like I said, McNessy was looking really really good uh, in in this last seventh round. Uh, and we and so now we are actually going into round eight. And McNessy is is going back to where he came from, starting to to go right back on the front foot and pressing Cassessi, but Cassessi was is actually getting to be a little bit more pinpoint accurate. Oh, terrible punch on the break from McNessie. I, I would say, I don't wanna say bad sportsmanship, but it was, they were tied up and the referee was trying to, was going to get in there, but it's always protect yourself at all times. <laughs> it's always protect yourself at all times, so. McNessie with a two punch combination, a one two that came in, and then a right hook that landed flush, and then three, four, five punches in the. Oh, Mike, that's the second time. That's got to be a point deduction. That's got to be a point deduction. That's the second time that McNessie has punched on the break, and the referee just gave him another warning and said, This is your last time. That should have been right there that should have been a point deduction that's the second time that Magnesi has punched off the break and he had five punches in the clinch the referee did not break them up and he was just going to town on the rib cage of Magnesi. ridiculous the ref this referee is slow it's another slow ref I like refs that don't get involved too much but sometimes you gotta get in there when a a a fighter is just taking advantage of a defenseless fighter. You know, you just, you got to get in there and break it up. Good one, two from Cassessi. And as y'all could tell, that's, mm, that's another punch in the back of the head by McNessie. And the referee, he, he said it, there was going to be a warning, but I mean, it was that last time, but I don't know. We'll see. A lot of dirty stuff. If you're a McNessie fan right now, it's a lot of it's a lot of borderline dirty going on right now in in round eight. It's getting a little chippy, primarily because Cassessi is staying on the back foot and he's trying to get away, and McNessie is trying to get inside. A lot of complaining to the ref also from McNessie. I really don't like that as well. I don't know. Um, I, I mean, I, I think right now, so to Don Gidron, to, to, I, I think that it's probably even because Cassessi had some really good rounds early and then now McNessie is starting to, to push a lot. So I think it's probably close to even at that point, uh, at this point. Um, I don't know. I, I, at the beginning of this fight, I thought it was going to, it might go the distance, but the way that Cassessi is looking, he's looking slower and slower and McNessie seems to be getting stronger and stronger as the fight goes on. So I don't know if the hands are going to drop a little bit for Cassessi and that could open up McNessie to get a nice left hook and then a straight right potentially ending out the night. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know but the the beard the beard of of Cassessi is definitely getting tested tonight 
<laughs> Definitely getting tested. The only highlights that they are showing to be fair is the highlights from Cassessi and this is and this is what I was talking about earlier Cassessi is actually the one that has the more impactful shot selection and that's what you got to wonder D are the judges focused on the work rate of McNessy or are they worried about the more clear sharp punches coming from Cassessi I don't know I'm not too sure Good, nice jab from Cassessi. It seems like McNessie is starting to slow down a little bit. And now because of the slow work rate of McNessie, Cassessi is actually able to pick apart McNessie quite a bit. And thank y'all so much once again for the support. I really do appreciate it. We're, we're in round nine, one minute and 37 seconds left of round nine. And this is Queensberry Promotions, um, obviously with 32 Red in the UK. Tyson Fury and Tyson Fury's father are in attendance. And this is for the Sam Parker, Joe Joyce car that's and and also obviously the fight that's going to be taking place pretty soon yeah we're we're definitely excited about this fight that's about to be happening but we got a really good one going on very competitive fight between Cassessi and McNessie oh great shot by Cassessi I tell you the pop the real pop and action is definitely coming from Cassessi, and he was able to land a few shots, but the referee is not breaking up McNessie from tying up, and he was throwing a few shots on the back of the ear of Cassessi in the clinch. A lot of dirty stuff going on from McNessie. I'm not, I'm not really too big of a fan of his style right now. Oh, big right hand that came from McNessie. Oh my gosh, and he, uh, he, teleported Cassessi's face all the way to Pluto with that one that was a crazy straight right and he it looks like Cassessi is in decent trouble again and but I tell you the chin is holding up for Cassessi wow that was a big big shot that came from McNessie probably one of the best shots of the night for him you know, another thing that's going on for McNessie is he keeps on switching stances. He's he's sort of been going from orthodox to southpaw a little bit when he's when he's coming out of the clinches. And every time that he does that, that's sort of when Cassessi is able to have a little bit of of success. So I think if if McNessie would just stay at the orthodox stance, I think he would be okay. But that was the most impactful shot for sure was from McNessie, a straight right that landed flush. And he's had these moments. He's definitely had quite a few moments in this fight. But yeah, out of round nine, I would definitely say the most significant shot of that round was definitely from McNessie. So if you're tuning in, you're definitely, it is McNessie versus Cassessi. And yeah looking really good going into 10th round and it is scheduled for 12 rounds good jabs from Cassessi moving off the back foot and it's looking very crisp good two piece again from Cassessi he is sticking and moving a lot of arm punches coming from oh and then another oh two three four shots coming from McNessie and the referee is still not breaking them up you gotta break them up ref 
Oh, man. Three punch combination coming from Cassessi that landed flush on McNessie. Oh, wow. Big, huge shots that messed up the chin of McNessie. And Cassessi is starting to throw, and it is starting to be uh, the Cassessi show. Here we go. McNessie is definitely more tentative now and another big shot left straight left that came from Cassessi and now it is starting to be a little bit of a momentum shift for Cassessi for sure. This punching in the break is really not good and it's 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 bad it's just bad refereeing to be honest. The referee really they he he has to take more charge of of this this is i it's been consistent he's been doing a lot of punching before the break but even though it is protect yourself at all times they he's got it he's got to get in there a little bit quicker Good shoot from from Kaseki. Yeah, Kaseki is definitely he's definitely having. Oh man! But then, ah, uh, Magnesi, Magnesi with some serious work coming in in the clinch, and then now off of the clinch, he was able to press on the front foot. Kaseki is definitely trying to to shoot a lot of jabs and then moving around, but Magnesi is not letting him go. Good straight right from Kaseki. Oh, and an, and an uppercut that landed flush in the solar plexus for Kaseki. And both of them are hyped up and excited about this fight. They're both looking at each other saying, yeah, you, you want some more? I got some more. So, yeah, we're definitely looking pretty good. Great action going on right now. And we're into the championship rounds. Ah, it's looking great. If you're tuning in, this this fight is highly entertaining, and it's also it's been going back and forth. But I I, I think that Magnesi probably it, at this point is starting to get the better end of the stick. However, I think that Kaseki he he's had the more clear shots, look clear punches. But it just feels to me that Magnesi's pressure, depending on the judges, I think the pressure. Of Magnesi could have gotten him the edge so far. I don't think that it's out of reach. I don't think that Kaseki needs a knockout, but I think that he probably might need a knockdown at least at this point. Potentially a knockdown. Oh, great hook! Great left hook from Kaseki that landed in another and a right hook and then a left hook and then two jabs. Oh my gosh, Kaseki is doing the thing right now in round 11 and he is starting to come on strong. If you're a Kaseki fan, you need to be excited about your guy because he's starting to come in in round 11. But McNessie is still pressing forward and he's he just keeps pressing constantly coming coming forward it's like none of those shots are affecting him but he's not doing good at at cutting off the ring kaseki another jab another jab oh straight left that just came from kaseki kaseki is is starting to switch stances on him and he's starting to get a little funky in the ring i don't know kaseki is starting to come on strong in round 11 and it's looking really good mcnessy is definitely slowing down quite a bit but kaseki Kaseki has found his second win and another two shots that came in for kaseki and kaseki with the two piece that landed flush on mcnessy oh 
Another shot from Kaseki. This is really good work from Kaseki in round 11. This is exactly what he needed. If you are a Kaseki fan, you should be very excited right now because your man is coming around and he is switching stances and catching McNessy flush multiple times. Kaseki has landed flush straight rights and straight lefts, moving out of orthodox and into southpaw. It has been masterful in round 11 for Kaseki. Ah. Another shot coming in from Kaseki. Yeah, Magnesi is definitely holding on for dear life right now. These shots are coming from everywhere. Everywhere and nowhere coming from Kaseki. And now you can tell that his, his corner is telling him, keep pressing, keep pressing, talking about in Kaseki. It's just been, it's been nice in round 11 for Kaseki. Seventeen seconds left in this round. Magnesi is is definitely a little tired. You can tell that he's gassed a little bit. But round eleven has been all Kaseki for sure. Another great shot from Kaseki. Oh, but a hook that came in from Magnesi that landed flush. But I don't think it's enough. I don't think it's anything. And that's the end of that round. And that was a great round from Kaseki. And Magnesi, all he could do was look at him and say, "Wow." <laughs> All he can say is he, McNessie just barely survived in that. That was a lot of good stuff coming from Kaseki. This is exactly what we wanted to see all the way going toe to toe. It, it, it looks like it's going the distance, but Kaseki came from the dead, came from the dead and he is going crazy. He was going crazy in round 11. That's exactly what we need to see. So, so uh, it's a tale of two cities. We had round one and round two that looked like a lot of of, of Kaseki. Uh, seemed that he was doing pretty good shooting off the back foot. Then McNessy coming in in the middle of the, of the fight, and he was starting to press quite a bit of, of action. And it was going back and forth at, at times, but for the most part, I felt that McNessy was getting the better in the stick. And then you definitely saw a lot of more pressure coming from Manessi on the later rounds, but then Kaseki comes through with a big round 11, and he's going to town again in round 12. Got two minutes and 40 seconds left. Who wants it the most? That's where we're at right now. Oh, big straight right that came in from Kaseki again. I tell you what. The referee has definitely had his hands full in the last little bit because McNessie has been doing a lot of holding. There's been a, quite a bit of holding that McNessie has been doing at the end of the, Oh, and a big straight left after a switch from McNessie. The switch hitter that came in and he landed a straight left that was sick from Kaseki right on the chin of McNessie. Oh my gosh, that was highlight reel stuff. Oh, and another one that was a straight right from Kaseki. Kaseki is doing some big stuff. And the ref is warning McNessy again about punching in the break after he said to stop. You have to take points away, ref. You can't keep warning a guy and not, he's not dealing with no punishment. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. But Kaseki, man, Kaseki has got the heart of a champion for sure. One minute and 28 seconds left in the fight. And it has been Kaseki, round 11, and now Kaseki, round 12. McNessy is gassed. He took a huge deep breath. Huge deep breath. Oh, and a two-piece that landed. And then a third shot that came in from Kaseki. All three of those landed straight flush on the chin of McNessy. But McNessy ate it well. We'll see how this thing goes. We got a one minute left in the fight. Y'all stay with me. Oh, and McNessy throwing a few hooks. But none of that stuff seems like it's got any type of pressure. It's got nothing going on. Uh. Three shot, three punch combination coming from Kaseki again. And again, McNessie is throwing punches while the referee is saying, stop punching. Ah, oh, and then two shots again coming from Kaseki.
straight left and landed flush. Magnesi just keeps on punching the back of the head. The referee doesn't do anything because there's 20 seconds left. And here we go. We're going to the finish. Let's just see how these guys go in the phone booth. Are they going to throw in the phone booth or is it going to be Kaseki? Kaseki again. Magnesi throw. Oh, K Magnesi with a big shot that landed flush on Kaseki. Here we go. Let's just see how this thing goes. It's got five seconds left in the fight. And that is the fight right there. Ended it up. I think that that was a pretty good display from Kaseki at the end. And I think looking at how it, it, it was down the stretch, it feels like Kaseki might have gotten the better end of the stick at the end. He definitely had a great display of boxing talent tonight. I tell you what, I feel that Kaseki... Kaseki might have done enough. Kaseki might have done enough. We'll see. I'm feeling good about it. I mean, I feel like Kaseki, I feel like Kaseki did enough. He had a great display. And it looks, and, and judging by McNessie's corner, McNessie's corner does not think that they won that fight. And I think I think Kaseki definitely I think he pulled I I think he might have pulled it out. In my opinion, that that 11th round and that 12th round showed that I feel that Kaseki might have pulled out the victory. Wow. Great fight. Great fight. We we we'll, we're about to find out and we're going to get it official but the scorecards are taking a little bit of time. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, Kaseki feels that he's got it. He's he's kissing the belts. He's kissing the <laughs> he's kissing the belts. I mean, I do I do think that that um I think Kaseki might have gotten it, man. I really do. I think he did enough. We'll have to see. But it's looking more and more like just judging by that eleventh round. And I said going into that eleventh round, I said he's gonna need. I think he's gonna need a knockdown. But he got round 11 and round 12. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Once again, thank y'all so much for tuning in. This is McNessie versus Kaseki. Uh, definitely a great fight. This was an outstanding fight. Toe to toe, back and forth action. I'm going to try to get some pictures real quick and I'll, I'll get you the result. Stand by. And Kaseki, Kaseki with the victory, the split decision victory. Kaseki got the victory. Congratulations goes out to Kaseki. I'm, oh my God. And you can just see what it means to Kaseki. Kaseki was able to get the victory. At the end of the day, he was able to get a split decision victory over McNessie. I, 
I like I said, I felt that he he did enough. That round eleven was huge. It was the difference maker. I tell you, that was the difference maker on the scorecards. It was round eleven where Kaseki came back from the dead and he was able to pull out a amazing victory, split decision victory over McNessy. Very, very highly entertaining, highly, highly entertaining fight. And Kaseki was able to pull out the victory with getting round 11 and round 12. It was round 11 that was the thing that got the ball rolling and round 12 is what sealed the deal for Kaseki getting the victory split decision victory over McNessie great 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 job by Anthony Kaseki great job man oh man that's that's exactly what you want to see especially everybody is hyped up going into Sam Parker and Joe Joyce so yeah man it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good one so with that being said as always peace one love we out of here